Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to our Best Eats Guangzhou episode. This is our very first time in Guangzhou, China and we can't wait to bring you a day of fantastic eating. And that's Guangzhou Tower right behind us. As you can see, it's pretty massive, barely fits into the frame. Peter and I sample some of Guangzhou's most iconic cuisines and trust us guys, the level of deliciousness is through the roof on this episode. Let's go! can't come to Guangzhou without getting some dim sum, so right now we're headed over to Dian Duoze. So there are no Uber cabs here in China, instead we just got out of our DD ride. This place is massive, it is three levels. Basically you get your number from the counter and then you wait. Looking around for carts and there were no carts, so I was like how do we get our food and I asked the lady and she's like you got to use WeChat to order your food, scan the barcode, then you got to look through the menu which is what we've done here and then you've got to order all your dishes. You need a Chinese phone number to actually put through the order and make your confirmation food's about to come soon dishes have started trickling in and first up here we've got siu mai which is my favorite pork dumpling super super happy i thought we had really good yum tart in new zealand and we do but this it's so juicy, so delicious. Everyone on the tables around us seems to have ordered one of these. And what it looks like is fried bread with a shrimp inside and it's wrapped outside by some rice paper. It'll give it a little dip in and it's time to try this little baby out. The fried bread and the shrimp is really nice and salty. And the texture of the fried bread is crispy with this rice paper wrapping around the outside which is nice and soft and squishy. That is some top quality dim sum right there. Next up I'm gonna go for the barbecue pork bun. Check that out. Wow. So much gravy. The bread is really soft. The barbecue pork inside. Lots of flavor. Sweet. Yummy. Mm. Oh my god. Sticky rice with some pork mince inside and it's wrapped and round in a lotus leaf. This is one of my favorites at dim sum. The lotus leaf here is so fragrant. It really wraps the rice up really nicely. It keeps the rice really moist and the flavors in there phenomenal. The pork is really nice and salty and the rice full of that lotus root fragrance. Yum. Next up, Peter tells me I have a xian sui tiao, which is rice roll and shrimp paste inside. And have a try. Yeah, it took me a little while to get to that shrimp because there's a lot of rice roll. But it's very very soft and chewy and then when you get to that shrimp it's a very nice subtle shrimpy flavor. My touch is the egg custard is so soft, melts in your mouth, pastry outside, so crumbly and delicious. This has been a fantastic meal, highly recommend this place. We found a little bakery here in Guangzhou and I couldn't resist, I'm getting myself a portal or bao as well as a mooncake and a random thing which I'm not sure about. Total came to 5 grooming bee which is only one dollar. I eat these all the time, I just don't know what they're called. So if you guys do know what they're called, leave it in the description below. I think what's inside this thing is red bean or sesame. A red bean. The inside is super soft, just a little bit sweet. And the outside tastes nice and crusty. I've also got here a little baby mooncake since it is mid-autumn festival. So in this one is a egg, I believe, if my mandarin serves me right. So let's take a bite and find out. Mmm. That freaking so good. It is salty egg in here and it tastes like pineapple as well. Oh man, I'm going back to that store to buy more of these. These are delicious. Finally, this is one of my childhood favorites. This is called Fall or Bao or Pineapple Bun. No pineapples inside, but that's the name it's been given anyway. How uh, crazy delicious. This ball or bao tastes amazing. The inside has nothing but fluffy air and delicious bread, but the outside does have what seems to be mixed sugar custard as well as the coconut flakes. I don't think I've ever had better baked goods than this place right over here. I'll try and leave the details of the location in case you do manage to find yourself here. It is really good. So the map that we use is Baidu Maps because, as you know, Google is blocked here, so Google Maps just does not really work. It's been a bit of a mission, but we finally found our Cantonese food place spot right there. Now we're inside Shen Chuen Fan Dian, and this is the first time I've seen this. All of my cutlery is neatly wrapped inside this cellophane, so I guess you just need to pop it open. And what we've got here is some classic Cantonese dishes. I've been waiting a long, long time to finally get some roast geese. That's what we've ordered. So excited for this. Looks like the skin has been covered in some delicious barbecue sauce. And then underneath the goose... Oh, it looks like yam. We've got some yam underneath. So ready to take this bite 
Oh wow. That skin is like magical barbecue jelly. It's super thick, it's very soft though, and it's soaked in so much of that barbecue salty flavor. Subtly sweet, and the meat tastes a lot like barbecue duck, but it's a little bit more gamey, and I've been waiting a long time to finally get a bite of that goose. Did not disappoint. It's super delicious. Here, I'm gonna try one of these veggies. Once again, soaked in that delicious flavor of the barbecue sauce. That's yum. The nice waitresses here recommended us Hong San Yu, which directly translates to Red Mountain Fish. That's what my Chinese serves me right. <laughs> Dipped it in some sauce. Let's have a try. Mm. It's a really yummy grilled fish. And with that soya sauce, it's nice and salty. Tiny bit of crisp from that skin. And then the meat itself is nice and fresh too. I like it. I like it a lot. So as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of geese bones. That was an incredible meal. There's definitely an HK kind of vibe going on in this restaurant. And we came here a little bit early, but right now it's absolutely packed full of locals. Testament to how good the food is here. I've never had goose before, but I feel like this one has definitely set the bar extremely high. All you future geese that I eat, watch out, because uh, you're gonna have some big shoes to fill. Just stepped out of the restaurant and there's actually a line waiting outside. Plus we realized that they won a Bip Gorman Award. We had a bit of a craving for wonton noodles. Found a really good spot so we're heading over there now. Normally we would find food reviews through Google for places that we're unfamiliar with but obviously Google is blocked here in China. Instead they use an app called Tianping. So a huge thank you to Joanne for letting us know about it. It's got all these food reviews. You can see star ratings and how far it is from you. Let's keep going. We've gone down a couple of winding alleyways and we've found this place where it serves wonton noodles. It's called Zhu Yuan Zhu Sun Mian. And if you guys want to know how to get there, we'll leave the link in the description below so that you can find the spot as well. Alright, let's go get some wonton noodles. So my dish has arrived. It's a classic style HK wonton noodle, but with a bit of a twist, it's got some crab meat wontons instead. You can definitely taste that crab flavor mixed together with pork. And let's try some of that noodle. Just going to add some of this chili oil and paste and a tiny bit of soy sauce. Yeah, definitely prefer it with that chili. All the flavors are coming together now. We've got that hit of that spice, the saltiness from the soya sauce. And it tastes like some sort of bean paste that's in with that chili. Definitely, definitely adds to this dish. We were walking around and we found this place that serves herbal drinks. When I was in Hong Kong, this place saved my life. I was so cold and then I had one of these drinks and then I warmed up and I felt much better. So I always take it if I'm feeling a little bit you know, funny. Sometimes I just take it because I like the flavor. The lady was mixing up a whole bunch of these different herbal concoctions, all bunch of different teapots. That is a delicious drink my friends. Incredibly bitter but not overly bitter. I've had some real bad bitter ones. I can feel the healing process beginning already. I can't even begin to describe all the different herbs that are in this thing. There's like multiple, 10 plus. They are all dried and normally what my mum does is she puts it all in a pot and boils them overnight. And then in the morning you wake up to a real funny medicinal smell inside the whole house. But that's what this reminds me of. It really does work if you're not feeling that great. For our final destination, we had a nice stroll down the river and we're here to get some clay pot. And this place also has a Michelin Bib Gourmet Award. They make things the old fashioned way here and we've got a traditional Guangzhou soup as well as a clay pot coming. I've got the soup right now so I'm going to give it a try first. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful soup. Wow, you think how complicated can a chicken soup really get, right? Well, the Guangzhou people perfected the art. The addition of coconut, the little goji berries, the chicken that they use. This is extremely sweet and a complicated flavored chicken soup. We decided to go for two clay pots and I got the black truffle with salted egg. When the waitress was stirring it inside that clay pot, you could hear the sizzling sound and smell that aroma. 
go for a bite. I love salted egg, and that one was perfect. That yolk plus that white yum. The rice is cooked so perfectly, not dry and not too crispy or hard. And that truffle, nice little earthy flavor to it. You can also see the actual truffle in like some places that you can't. So that was an incredible, incredible clay pot. I've got the specialty, which is the eel clay pot. Looks like they've mixed in some spring onions and a beautiful black gravy. This clay pot is insane. Hands down, the best clay pot rice I've ever had in my life. The flavors are so intense. The eel is just buttery, soft, and delicious. Reminds me of my grandma, who always makes this dish. It's a lovely soy flavor, and unlike the eels we have back in New Zealand, they don't have that muddy kind of flavor. All I can say is this. If you're in Guangzhou, you have to get this clay pot place. It is amazing. You will not be disappointed. And that wraps up things here for our Guangzhou Besties episode. Yen and I have both grown up eating Guangzhou cuisine back home in Auckland, but I've got to say, coming here and trying some authentic stuff has taken it to the next level. It has been delicious and such a cool new experience for us. Do you have a favorite for today? Half one, but I did really love that yum tai, even though it was quite hard to order initially. Just a bit of a shock for us. But I gotta say, that clay pot was incredible. So that's yeah. my top tip. I have four favorites on this episode. <laughs> so all of them basically. Yeah. But what's your number one? Okay, but number one, I would have to say, I, the goose edges it out just slightly because it was totally new for me. It's something that I've wanted to eat for a very long time. So the goose. Nice. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode and if you'd like to see more from us, please do give us those likes and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop us a comment so you can say hi. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. We welcome everyone who's been watching us and thank you to everyone who's always watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. I'll catch you next time. Catch ya.